Hello everyone, it's me Lakayaj and thank you so much for joining. Today we are going to create the most requested makeup look from our Filipino makeup art. If you are interested, stay in one. We are going to put in eye base. So this is from P. Louise Rumor 01. If you don't have a specific product called an eye primer, you can use a concealer. This is very cheap drugstore concealer from Maybelline. Actually, they're not cheap anymore. It's quite expensive nowadays. Since I want to bring back the color of my skin after I primed it, I will use Nichido Cool Ram. This is a powder blush. Feel the natural halo of the eye socket. You can feel the bones. And then get your fluffy brush as big as this if you have any and then just swipe it off there grab your super dense eyeshadow brush it should be short and dense we are going to use this to pick up products and then pack it on our eye a warm chocolate brown if you have any similar to this then we are going to so pick up a product and then stamp don't swipe yet just stamp that's why you are wondering why makeup artists have different brush because it has different uses. And the second will be hygiene. If the makeup artist have a lot of brush, it means he already assigned that to different clients in the same bed. If the makeup artist doesn't have a lot of brush, it's okay as long as they have a sanitizers, like brush sanitizers and makeup sanitizers. If you are an aspiring and starting makeup artist, you can start by building up your hygiene kit. That means your hand sanitizers, alcohol, cosmetic sanitizers, this is a sample you can use it for the makeup that you are using uh, makeup brushes and other of your makeup products that needs to be sanitized in between clients so this is a cosmetic sanitizer from Japan which is Nippon and we have a local one from Tevian yes I haven't opened it yet because I'm using Nippon most of the time but I bought it locally just in case that I will run out. So, this is what it looks like. So this is the Debian brand. Now let's grab another more angled but still dense flat brush. And we are going to grab a cool tone darker brown. This one. And we are going to outline our eyes so that means eye lining i usually do from the center and then outwards and then excess in the inner corner of the eye line everyone has different eye shape as long as you know the theory of eye lining which is just following the line of your eye, upper and bottom. Using the pencil brush, this pencil brush, grab the blackish shade in your eyeshadow. And now we are going to follow that same outline. Grab your fluffiest, super fluffy blending brush. The shimmer. This is the favorite of everyone. Shimmer. So any champagne shimmer shade, you can use this type. You can use this type. This one. Your darker pink for more Victoria's Secret effect. And focus on the center of the eyelid upwards. And dust off the excess all over the lids. Next, we are going to eyeline and we're using a liquid type of eyeliner and we are going to use a super flat brush. And since this is liquid, my motion is more on stamping. Using the same product, 
we are going to do a tight line. Tight line means it's still on the upper lash line but more underneath the one that's closer to the uh, waterline. So this will tie up together your eye line and your tight line. And then just a little thing that you do to make a difference is I mean a black eyeshadow and stamp it on top of the eyeliner so that it will not be shiny. It's cohesive to all of the makeup that you added on your eyes. And it will not reflect on cameras. Now we will be doing the same thing at the bottom lashes but before we do that, you need to make sure that it's clean and it's not too wet. Grab a Q-tip, open it, and then you're going to clean. But if your client is uncomfortable touching their waterline, it's okay. Don't force them. And let's grab another angle brush. And we are going to use a matte eyeshadow for the inner corner halfway. Some people are using pencil on this type. But I want a matte powder because since this area is super watery, powder is better. Mascara, but only near the eyeline. Like pressing it up. Press. Press. We will be using individual lash. So if you're asking me what eyelash glue I'm using, I'm using Nikon Clear Eyelash Glue. And add uh, about three to four pieces starting from the outer corner. So that's three lashes already. I'm gonna add the fourth one. So that's gonna be all the way here. In this. So this will create just a natural eyelash extension. I'll swipe up the excess and the other lashes and then put them together. That's it. And then press for that natural. And it's super light. It's not it's super light and it's not itchy okay individual lashes added now let's curl it so I added 10 mm so this is a 10 mm just four individual lashes from outer to the center brush it from the waterline and include the others and so for the complexion, I am going to use a longwear foundation and a tinted glow boost. And I'll pump in the inner of my hand so that I can use all of the products because your palm doesn't have any big pores. So you can scoop out all of the products. So that would be three pumps of this and that would be four all over my face. I usually start in the center of my face outwards. So this NARS Longwear Foundation is perfect for people with oily skin because this is a mattifying foundation. And if you have a round super fat face with double to triple chin, don't forget them. Okay, they're part of your personality in a thin layer of this tinted glow booster and the tinted glow booster will add that natural like shine no need for us to add too much highlight i minimized using highlight recently because i have realized that it's not good for those who have textured skin because it will be very visible and all cameras, whether phone or flash photography, it will come out. See, it has that natural glow already. So let's just blend it up. Okay, we're not gonna powder it yet. We're just gonna let it sit for a while. Like that. Remember the Michido blush. Blend all the colors together, tie it all up. The bottom lash line here, up to your brow bone, extend if needed. 
and this now mascara for the lower lash line recently i'm so obsessed with not contouring my face because i kind of accepted my round face but for today's video we are going to sculpt it a bit i'll be using juvia's placed benin blush as you observe at this part i haven't powdered yet powdered for me should be the last step so we will be using a super pink liquid blush and then just stamp here highest point of your cheek this is a thailand product i know we have local brands but as of my financial capability i cannot buy it yet because the local version of these blushes are so expensive. don't be scared because right now everything is still cream product everything will be absorbed to your eyes so that you will have that super young glowy look like the japanese idols now we are going to powder blush for powder blush i'll be using my fluffiest brush just place serafina a powder blush any powder blush that you have since we use a tinted moisturizer as you can see i don't need to add highlighter because the highest point of my cheeks and other corners are already have its natural light and then dust off the excess in your forehead chin area neck so that everything will be tied up now for the lips of course we will be using nude lipstick and then we are going to use a brown um a brown lip line so this is a warm brown lip liner from morphe by me and a nude brown with peach undertone from maybelline 301 through tofi yes this is similar to swirl by mac Then the lipstick by the way this is my personal use lipstick i still have other uh lipstick for the same shade that is not yet used this is mine and that's it so let me just like Finalize things, uh, fix my hair, and a black. And then we are going to set everything. Everything will be tied up and absorbed together. <laughs> and I will be extra. I'll be using my collagen mist. This is from Kahi Soap. I think this makeup look is very, very clean. That's why this is most requested. And as you can see, it's close to the color of most Filipinas. That's why it just enhances our natural beauty. If you're a beginner as a makeup artist, for sure, they will request this type of makeup. If you master this, I can see that you can come up with other. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for joining me today and see you on the next one.